Hello, lovely people. So um, welcome to today's video. We are going to be looking at the answers to last week's feedback challenge uh, regarding paraphrasing. So I asked you to paraphrase the following question statement. This was from a, an opinion essay. And the question was, it has been suggested that cars and public transport should be banned from city centers and only bicycles be allowed instead. The thing that I'm going to be looking for here is, do the paraphrases that people have uh, provided have exactly the same meaning as the original? This is the most important thing about paraphrasing. And then we're going to have a look that the language used is accurate. So I went through these a little bit earlier today and just highlighted some points that I wanted to talk about. So looking at our first one, our first student has said it has been recommended that private vehicles and buses and trains should not be allowed in city centers and only bicycles can be used instead. So I've highlighted this here, the buses and trains. So buses and trains are definitely public transport. How many trains do you have in city centers? Are they full of um, trains? Not usually. Also, this is too specific because it doesn't cover trams, for example. So by giving examples of public transport, the student has been too specific. And this does not have exactly the same meaning as the question statement, because we're talking about all public transport, not just some public transport. So let's change this to, it has been recommended the private vehicles. Um, and here, public transport is public transport, so. and public transport should not be allowed in city centers. Okay, that, that's fine. And only bicycles uh, can be used instead. Um, so here is recommended. We don't recommend something can, we recommend something should. So here the vocabulary doesn't quite work. So it has been recommended that private vehicles and public transport should not be allowed in city centers and only bicycles should be used in set. Okay. So now we have the same meaning and the language is accurate. Let me just kind of highlight this. So, okay, moving on to our next one. So I've mentioned here nice uh, sentence structure change. So here, this student has said it has been advised that only bicycles should be allowed in cities, while automobiles and other public transport should be prohibited from entering. So here, what the student has done, which is really nice, is they've taken the structure here, they've taken the part of the bicycles not being allowed, and they brought this to the beginning of our clause. So they've changed the sentence structure around. This is what really good paraphrasing does. We change sentence structure. So for the students who have done this, I've put little notes here, so great job for thinking like that. Um, here, they've uh, tried to choose it, uh, advised instead of suggested. Unfortunately, it has been advised that is not an expression in English. So I think we can just use, uh, what would you prefer? Recommended? So they recommended that only bicycles should be allowed in cities. Now I've highlighted this because the question is not talking about cities, it's talking about city centers. We're not talking about the outside of cities, we're only talking about city centers. So by writing cities, this is no longer an appropriate paraphrase. So it's these little things that we really have to pay attention to in our paraphrase because otherwise you are changing the meaning. Recommended that only bicycles should be allowed in city centers, but automobiles and other public transport. Well, if you say other, that means an automobile is public transport, but an automobile is not public transport. So this wouldn't make sense. So automobiles and public transport should be prohibited from entering. And then here, we don't want to be talking about cities, we're talking about city centers. Because we've already referred to this here, an easy way to just deal with this is 
finish here. Okay, on to our next one. So it has been argued that only bicycles should be allowed in city centres, while cars and public transport ought to be prohibited. Um, so this student, this is an excellent paraphrase. We have exactly the same meaning. They've changed the sentence structure, which is really nice to see. And all of the language used is accurate. So great job to the person who wrote this. Now, let's have a look at these ones. So some have suggested, okay, it has been suggested, this is a nice paraphrase for that expression, that bicycles should only be allowed in uh, the city centre. So we don't know which ones we're referring to. You can only use the if you're talking about specific city centres. So here you're talking about city centres in general, so no article. Some have suggested that bicycles should only be allowed in city centres and a ban should be put on private vehicles and buses. Now this is the same problem as before. Buses is too specific. We're not talking about only buses. Sure, buses are public transportation, but we're talking about all public transportation. So, sorry, need this. And here we've got two independent clauses. We need a comma before the coordinating, coordinating conjunction. Okay, let's have a look at our next one. So some have suggested that bicycles should be the only vehicles allowed in city centres and to forbid motor vehicles and public transportation. So we can't use this to verb expression here. So if we look here, we have a clause. So bicycles should be the only vehicles allowed in city centres and so we're going to follow by another clause. We're not going to follow by a prepositional phrase because this wouldn't make sense. So how do we make a, a clause here? We need subject, verb, object. So let's get rid of this and find our subject. So some have suggested that bicycles should be the only vehicles allowed in city centres and motor vehicles in public transport, transportation. So this is our subject. Verb should be... Once again, the student has done the nice thing of putting, like switching the sentence structure around. So that was really nice to see. And then down to our last two. So our next one says, it is argued um, that vehicles should be prohibited in downtowns. So downtown is uncountable. We don't have downtowns. So just taking um, too many vocabulary risks here. So city. Centers. And riding bicycles ought to be the solely alternative solution. So, if we talk about riding bicycles rather than bicycles, we're really just saying that the activity of riding bicycles is the only thing that you're allowed to do. But that means you're not allowed to walk. That's definitely not what we're trying to say. So, so argue that vehicles should be prohibited in city centres and bicycles, and then we've got a spelling mistake here. Yeah. Oh yeah, vehicles should be prohibited in city centres. Bicycles ought to be, uh, we can't say, the solely alternative. So here you can see, so we work this. Maybe we could say the only. Student is saying too many risks for vocabulary. And uh, we say to everyone, make sure you're only using words and expressions that you understand 100%. Okay, moving on to our last paraphrase that we're going to look at in this video. So some people have recommended, okay, that cycling is only allowed in urban areas. So again, this is talking about the activity 
But this is not actually what the question is talking about. It's only bicycles. You're allowed to walk in city centers, but you, we're not saying only cycling is allowed. So, uh, so some people have recommended the bicycles. Um, oh, people have argued that bicycles is the only form of transport allowed in urban areas. So again, the person has tried to use urban areas to talk about city centers, but an urban area and a city center is not the same thing. Don't take these risks with your power, your um, synonyms. Remember, you've got to have exactly the same meaning. City center is a city center. And we're going to keep the word here. And then two disregards. So once again, the student has decided to try and use a prepositional phrase to introduce this. But here we have a, a noun phrase. So is, I've recommended bicycles are the only form. Sorry, here we have a clause. Bicycles are the only form of transport allowed in the city center. So we're going to have consistent structure in our, our sentences. So to have consistent structure, we're going to follow this with another clause. So we need subject, private vehicles and public transportation. And then disregarded is not actually um, a word that means what uh, we're trying to say ban. So maybe we could say uh, private vehicles, public transportation are prohibited. And again, the student has tried to change the sentence structure, so that's really nice to see. Okay, so those were our um, paraphrases that we've gone through in this video. Um, I hope you see how it's really, really important to not take risks with your vocabulary. Don't try and um, change words because you go, oh, I know something what's similar. You have to have exactly the same meaning. So that means if you can't think of a synonym which has exactly the same meaning, use the original word. But what is key to a really nice paraphrase is trying to change the sentence structure. So you don't only have to change the, um, the words that you're using. Thank you very much for everyone who commented on the video. I hope you learned something from this video. Please remember to like, share and subscribe to the video. And um, I will have a new challenge for you coming up shortly. Good luck in your studies. Have a great day.